Who's our first group? Moriarty! Yeah! Hey everybody, uh, before we start with the comedy, just wanted to share a few words. My name is Sir Mix-a-Lot, <laughs> creator of the Grammy Award winning hit, Baby Got Back. Yes, I like big butts. But more importantly, I cannot lie. I am physically incapable of telling a lie. This is my curse. <laughs> I'm a man who is haunted by his like for big butts and is completely unable to lie about it. Do you understand what that means? I love butts. And literally every single person I've ever met in my entire life has a butt. I've told them all how I want that juicy double. <laughs> Do you understand the shame I feel when a waitress asks me how I'm doing? And my response is, oh, that butt you've got makes me so horny. I can't maintain relationships. Whenever I meet one of my friend's wives, I so badly want to tell them, it's wonderful to meet you. You've got such a beautiful dress on. But instead, the filth that spews from my mouth is, oh, double up, oh, oh, which is the truth. My friends all have really hot wives. And it's not just butts, oh no. Every word that comes out of my mouth is the God's honest truth. I am a knight. I was knighted Sir Mix-a-Lot in 1993. And I do mix an inordinate amount. Records, pancakes, races, I'll mix anything. Is that a good rap name? No. But it's who I am. I would kill myself if I had the courage. Every single word I've ever said in one of my songs is nothing but the pure unadulterated truth. My anaconda don't want none unless it's got buns, hon. That's not a double entendre. I own a pet snake. And it honestly won't eat anything unless I present it on a hot dog bun. If I wanted to say penis, I would have said penis. This is just a fun fact I decided to divulge about myself. To give me a sister, I can't resist her. I was given two older sisters. <laughs> Chili? <laughs> Miranda? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> this is who I am! This is who I am, and all I want to say to them is I'm sorry, but whatever comes out of my mouth when I'm with them is shake it! Shake it! Shake it! Shake, it! shake that healthy butt, baby, I'm back! And to make matters worse, this invisible chorus emerges from nowhere to say, Shake it! Who are you? Why won't you let me be? You know, I'm surprised at how often people don't know this about myself. I directly uh, direct this issue in every single one of my songs that isn't. Baby got back. Listen to one of those. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Zombies is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sorry. Traffic was a nightmare. Oh, tell me about <laughs> it. I got stuck in a five-broom pileup right over the park. We just floated there for 30 minutes. <laughs> I heard a screeching news report that someone swerved around a bird and then flew right into traffic. Well, sounds like someone needs a good spell. In traffic school. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, you look amazing. Have you lost weight? No, it's this new abracadabra I got at Filene's Cauldron. Wow. <laughs> it gives you the body of a 200-year-old. Thanks. And they're two for one right now if you use promo code WITCHMOMS. <laughs> so where's Nancy? Oh, she's running late. Or flying late would be more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> So, how are the kids? Oh, fine. Tim's grades are terrible, so it looks like Hogwarts is never gonna happen. I hear you. Beth's got a one-way ticket to a wizarding state school right now. <laughs> I mean, she spent the entire semester just riding around in the back of Bobby Good's broom. Don't know what she thought was gonna happen. Griselda! Oh! Is your party complete? Oh, we're waiting on one more person. Can you just seat us now? Look, I got 99 problems, but a witch ain't one. You're gonna have to wait. I, and, and I'm immune to charm spells, so don't even bother. <laughs> Let me know when you all hear. He's the host from hell. Literally, his day job, his night job, is working the dinner rush in hell. Mm. Well, she better get here sooner, I swear to Beelzebub, I'm never making brunch plans with her again. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, where have you been? Luke and I just got into a fight about how we never see each other anymore. Well, why don't you tell him to stop wearing his invisibility cloak so much? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's just I've been trying to get my witch mom blog off the ground, and he office well past witching hour every night, and he wants me to give up my thing? Oh, spell no. <laughs> That's so typical. They would rather us be in colonial Salem. Wizards, right? Can't live with them? Get burned at the stake if you try to kill them. I don't know, you guys. We've been married for 30 years, and I think the magic is gone. Uh, <laughs> 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 we have fun here. Anyway, I had to rush out of the house. I took a wrong turn and I ended up at a troll booth. No. I know. And I didn't have any coins on me, so I had to answer his riddles. I got stuck on the third one. Well, did he let you buy anyway? Not exactly. I kind of put a shrinking hex on him. Oh my stars! Are you crazy? You violated the Witch Troll Pact of 1392. The Witch Troll Pact? The Witch Troll Pact. Come on. Look, I know it's awful, but I haven't felt this alive in centuries. Well, it looks like a witch snitched on you because here comes a police wizard. <gasps> Put the troll gently in my hand <laughs> and put your hands behind your back. <sighs> Officer, don't you think you could go easy on her? I mean, I bet that troll was being a real troll. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I hate trolls just as much as the next Wizard of the Law, but I have a job to do. You guys, I broke bad. <laughs> Witches be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll get a sandwich for brunch. Which sandwich? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which moms? <laughs> Up next on GDS, an hour long episode of Talking Witch, with your host, Chris Hardaway. Looking for fun for the whole family? Well, come on down to the O'Reilly Family Amusement Park. Take the I-95 to 495, I-495 to the New Jersey Interstate 39 West. You pass the Six Flags, you go on the right way. Interstate 78 East to I-50 West, take the Garden State Parkway exit, turn right on East Jones Maltzberger. Roller coasters! Transfer back on the I-495, take that to the I-35 North. 
I see. I-65 North. I-65 North. Make a quick legal U-turn onto the 281 North. Just take the 410 interstate all the way down to the O'Reilly Family Amusement Park. Don't go to Six Flags. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Have you decided what to name her? Uh, we wanted to hold her first. We figured when we would look at her, we would know exactly what to name her. I got nothing. <laughs> Fuck, does that mean we're bad parents? You're not bad parents. It takes a few days before you know what to name your baby. It's very common. Uh, naming your baby is instinctual for good parents? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to name our baby right now, and I'm going to name her Bloody Little Human Raisin. <laughs> That's terrible! I'm sorry, I know, but it's the only thing I think of when I look at her. <laughs> Alright, good dad to the rescue. Our name is... Tubes. <laughs> tubes. We just named our baby, her name is Tubes, write it up. You just named your baby after something in the room. No, we have a long connection with tubes in the Burton family. We, we've been in and around tubes like forever. Yeah, we're, we're big tubes people. Yeah. And no one is big tubes people. Maybe throw around a couple of choices and see which name really sticks. Okay, um, fluorescent ball Burton? Uh, hospital Burton? Curtains Burton? Scrubs Burton? Oh, oh, what about blue? Blue, uh, blue blanket? Blue, uh, blue, uh, scrub. Uh, there's a lot of blue in this room. <laughs> Still just hospital objects. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be really wonderful parents. <sighs> Thank you so much, nurse. You know, you've been so helpful. Maybe we should name our baby after you. What's your name? Yeah, what's your name? Oh, it's Sarah. <laughs> no, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a good name. Well, I'm sure you'll think of something. Uh, uh, window pane, Burton. Mm. Uh, knit bonnet, Burton. Uh, Broken coat machine, Burton. Name tag, Burton. Mr. Burton. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Striper, Burton. Oh no, okay, why don't you close your eyes and think of real people names? <laughs> Outpatient, Burton. Oh, <laughs> What about Elizabeth? See, if we're going to be good parents, it's going to have to come from us. And I was actually just about to say Elizabeth, and now we can't even use it. <laughs> Look, are you going to build a nursery for your baby? Of course. Are you going to spend time with her? Of course. Are you going to love her? Uh, how can we love her if we don't know what her name is? You come. <laughs> look, you don't get it. We are good parents, so we know. I mean, we can prove it to you. Look, look how I'm supporting the baby's head. Oh, good so parents. Oh, look, baby, I'm showing you how to walk. <laughs> Learn how to share, baby! Uh, you're so skinny, baby! Oh. That's okay! See? Now she won't have body image issues when she grows up! Good parenting! <laughs> baby, don't go too close to that window or you could fall out! Good parenting! Always whisper around the baby! <laughs> oh, great parenting! We're, We're good parents. parents! You're not. You're not good parents. You're throwing your baby around. That's only because she's a girl and we really wanted a boy. Yeah, he would have been a senator. And a linebacker for the Seattle Seahawks. And we would have named him Lightning. <laughs> Get blasted at the O'Reilly Family Amusement Park. The 410 Interstate is closed for construction this weekend. So take the 210 West to I-90 East. Make sure you're writing this down. All of the cell phone towers are down. We're not on Google Maps. We're not on Google Maps. Get off at Burton Springs. Hang an immediate left onto East Bassey Road. Do not take a right. Pull up to the Valero Station. Ask Brittany for directions instead. She's a very sweet girl. We gave her very specific directions. Just don't ask her while she's texting. It's part of the agreement we have. Oh. Hey, Greg. How was your weekend? Oh, it was great. I learned that if you open your heart, love is all around. <laughs> Uh, it was okay. The uh, Seahawks won, so that was cool. Wow! Everyone had such a great time! That's a such in life! 
That's wonderful news, but... <laughs> what happened to you this weekend? <laughs> oh, nothing insignificant. Well, nothing significant is what I meant to say. <laughs> no, um, I just realized that the Earth's core is built on harmony instead of chaos. That's cool about the Seahawks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, they got this new guy, Lightning Burton. Ooh. Uh, he's pretty good, but, uh, yeah, did something in particular happen to you to make you so happy? Oh, no, no, no. The event in and of itself is pretty insignificant. But, larger of a bigger truth, <laughs> do you think those Superhawks are going to win that Super Bowl? Uh, Seahawks, uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's still early to tell, you know, it's just... They got a lot of work to do. Uh -huh. Are you on ecstasy? <laughs> it's, it's cool if you are. Like, I, I, I won't tell anybody. No, no, friend. <laughs> My happiness comes from a source far more powerful than drugs. That source? Life itself. <laughs> oh, my stars, it's 10.30. We should get to work. <laughs> Did you find a big bag of money? Like a really big bag of money? Like enough money to buy a speedboat? Oh, no, 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 no. I just looked into the abyss and love stared back. <laughs> <laughs> love working. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I just forgot my charger, and I'm the only one that has a five, so. Thank you for coming, Amanda. <laughs> the love power in this office has just gone straight through the roof. Did you have a great weekend? It was okay. <laughs> I mean, I just, like, caught up on Witch Moms and went on a second, <laughs> went on a second OK Cupid date with this dude. No. What happened to you? Oh, nothing. I just decided to start forgiving myself for problems that were outside of my control. <laughs> third date with this guy? <laughs> Probably not. He wasn't that into me. What? How is that even possible? You're a child of the earth and your energy is so pure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really, I wasn't that into him either. I mean, he like works for J.P. Morgan. So. Oh, say no more. <laughs> Why peddle in the currency of money when the currency of love is all around? <laughs> Greg, did you have sex this weekend? After a 12-year dry spell? With a girl that you had a crush on since high school who poses for Maxim Magazine now? We're twins. No, no, you guys. I did not have sex this weekend. Actually, though, now that I'm thinking about it, I had the most explosive, nasty orgasm ever. <laughs> Self-enlightenment. How great is it that we get to be alive, you guys? <laughs> what the fuck happened to you this weekend? Why did you want to live so badly? You guys, <laughs> you seem so upset. Yeah, we're upset because you're so happy. Yeah, like what the fuck? Did you get a dog or something? Did someone you hate die? Yeah, did you? Did, you, did someone accidentally pay pal you five hundred dollars? Did you rob a bank and get away with it? No. Did you get a free burrito at Chipotle? Did your dad finally forgive you? No. Oh, oh, oh! Did you? Did you judge a blowjob contest and get paid in more blowjobs? Why are you so happy? Why? Why? Tell me why? Greg, you're killing us here, buddy. You're really gonna have to tell us why the fuck you're so happy. Okay, you guys, okay. I'm sorry. If you really are gonna drag it out of me, I met God. <laughs> like, like the actual God? Yeah. Turns out he's back on Earth. <laughs> I met him in a Rite Aid. He uh, <laughs> answered a lot of my questions. God was, um... He was cool, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. I did not see that coming. Happy Guy is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Coming up next, Hardcore Pornography. Get your summer started off right at the O'Reilly Family Amusement Park. Brittany's been reading the directions wrong. It's supposed to say take a left at the shiny blue rock. 
which she's been reading, take a right at this shitty blue rock. Do not take a right at this shitty blue rock. That leads right off of Rupert's Canyon. People have died. You're gonna die when you see our prices. You were gonna break up with me? You were gonna break up with me? No, I wasn't. Why would you think that? Because that's what you wrote Hannah Montana! Oh. How did you know that? How did hey, I know Mom. that? Sorry to interrupt. I know here visiting you from college. Oh, hi, Grandma. Sweetheart. Oh, I'm just watching that adorable Hannah Montana you used to love. Miley reminds me so much of you, Gracie. Oh, she sure does. Well, that's not much of a compliment these days. What? Whatever do you mean? Oh, sure it is, Gracie. Can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> I've changed a few things around the house since you've been gone. I uh, got new ferns, I rearranged some of the furniture, and I've engineered a world where Miley Cyrus is still a good person. <laughs> Dad, Grandma's a grown woman. I'm sure she can handle the coming of age of Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Hannah Montana is a sex-crazed exhibitionist with a boy haircut and too many tattoos. Your grandmother is a fragile old woman. Hannah Montana is the only thing that's keeping her going. Where's my college girl? Come sit down and tell me all about it. Oh, you guys look thirsty. Want some lemonade? Want some lemonade, Ma? Lemonade? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get you some lemonade. I've missed you so much. We have all weekend to catch up. Weekend? But it's only Tuesday. <laughs> no, Grandma, it's Friday. Oh, ho, ho! Silly Grace! <laughs> Silly Grace means Tuesday! Right, Grace? It's Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday? Grandma thinks it's Tuesday. Dad, can I talk to you? Yeah, it takes me a few days to edit for Us Weekly magazines and all three two <laughs> cable channels. This really works? Oh, yeah. She's an idiot, Grace. She's old. Artist Miley Cyrus. Album Bangers? Oops, I slipped. Are you all right, dear? That keeps happening. Like with my computer and with every TV that's not this TV. Hey, Ma, you look thirsty. Why don't you take some of that lemonade, huh? Drink up, Ma. I used to play bridge on Tuesdays until all my friends died. <laughs> you remember that, Grace? Remember when I called you and told you about that freak accident that killed every single one of your friends? <laughs> 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 it was so very sad. Oh, sad. It's very sad. <laughs> When your grandmother's friends joined Twitter, I had to eliminate them from the equation. That's awful! Listen, young lady, we've created an equilibrium since you've been gone. So don't make waves. No. Uh, there's a new episode. I can't hear it. Well, didn't this show end in 2011? Yeah, these are some episodes I filmed myself. <laughs> I love you paint my toenails, Lily. You can so cute. It's like I'm a little midget how you can. I love it so much. <laughs> She's old as fuck. <laughs> Grandma, you have to know the truth. Miley Cyrus isn't a little girl anymore. Who, who, no, who, no, 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 she did it, she did it. Are you happy, Grace? No. Are you happy? I'm so sorry, Mom, but I promise no. when you wake up, everything will be better. <laughs> Hands up, sing my song. <laughs> okay. When she wakes up, we're resetting to 2010. <laughs> Hi, Mike O'Reilly from the O'Reilly Family Amusement Park here. We haven't had a customer in six months, and a lot of people have died. So, I bought a full hour of airtime, 
and I'm gonna put this camera on the dashboard of my car and drive all the way to the O'Reilly Family Amusement Park. Just follow these directions exactly. Keep your eyes on the road. Another person dies and it's my fault, so I'm gonna kill myself. So come on down! <laughs> I got it! Alright, we take them to a deserted island and rest them in the shade of a lonely palm tree. It's been done. Fuck! Fuck! Right. God damn it. Okay, we take them to a Mediterranean wine cellar, place them on an oak barrel, mm -hmm. while a flickering candle softly lights them. Been done too. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. <sighs> Face it, guys. We've run out of ways to show Kate Upton's tits. <laughs> <laughs> we should have faced ourselves! No! <laughs> no, guys, we are Maxim Magazine. The leading magazine for men, okay? This is just writer's block. The biggest writer's block of our careers! Okay, let's, uh, let's look at some of our, our previous work to get some inspiration, okay? Focus on the tits, okay? <laughs> That's a bikini. That's a bikini. That's a bikini. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that's <laughs> 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 Ah, damn it, everything's been done! Oh. You know what, we're thinking too much, let's free associate. Yeah. <laughs> Say the first word that comes to mind, Tammy, give me! Oh, uh, tits in a bikini! Did you do that? Did you do that already? <laughs> yeah, that was literally one of the first ones that we did. Oh, fuck, All right, guys, one more, one more, one more. Okay, Summer. A uh, bikini. Oh, tits in a bikini! <laughs> <laughs> It's the same thing that was what we just said, okay? Let's open up the loops. Start farther away. Okay, okay. Mausoleum. Nice. Patriots. Uh, Iwo Jima. Japan. Oh, tits in a wrecking ball? Oh. Damn it. Oh, that's, that's cool. Okay, guys, come on. We live in the golden age of Kate Upton's tits. Okay? We just have to seize it. Okay, okay. I don't know. Why don't we put something weird on him like a toast or a horse? <laughs> October 2012, or Toast and Then Horse Editions. Well, let's rent a freighter, go to Antarctica, and put some penguins on her. Summer Sports oh. Illustrated Edition 2013. That's a good photo. Yeah, she does look good. <laughs> Alright guys, I've got an idea. Why don't we admit to ourselves that the unlimited well of tit pictures we thought Kate Upton was has finally run dry? No. <laughs> this is our Sistine Chapel, guys. Okay, this is our... Our Ben goes best work. Okay? <laughs> we just have to put our heads down and do the work. Okay? All right, guys. I put your put your brains together, right? I gotta, gotta make a quick phone call. <laughs> hey, honey. Hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Listen, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the hospital in time. <laughs> yeah, name the baby whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know. Tubes. <laughs> okay, guys, all right, back to work. Let's draw from personal experience. Most of us have been around tits, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit, some of us even have tits. Oh, okay, okay. So. Once, I dressed as a Christmas tree and painted mine as Christmas ornaments as a present for my boyfriend. Oh, I don't think that'll work. Yeah, it didn't. He left me on Christmas morning. <laughs> But what if we showed her ass? I should fire you right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? I'm not gonna lie, I like big butts. I mean, not that I'm incapable. I could lie about it if I wanted to. I, I'm a normal person. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Hey, calm down. He's Look. the best in the business, you know that. Yeah, he was. What happened to genius behind the October 09 issue, Models Leaning Against Stuff? It was a different time, all right? Models leaning against things are really hot. Cars, trees, other models. Now we have our Kate Upton's tits. No, no, we'll get this. We're maxim. We can do this. Let's take a break, order some food. Yeah. It'll come to us. Okay. All right, who wants some pizza? Pizza sounds good to yeah, me. Yeah, pizza sounds awesome. I like that. Pizza? You guys, that's it. Pizza tits. Tits made of pizza. Pizza tits. Tits. Wait, sometimes the stupidest ideas are the most genius. Let's hear them out. 
We ordered two pizzas. And then we put the tits on them. Pizza tits. Tits made of pizza. Money. Guys, what are we doing? We don't need this. People don't want to see new pictures of Kate Upton's tits. They just want to see her tits. They don't care if they see them again. They just want to see them. And guess what? We can do that for them. Nah. Pizza tits. Oh. Yeah! Yeah!